three, two, one. It's winter time in Canberra, and that means hot chocolates, big coats, and freezing cold nights. One of my favourite things to do is to go out in the morning and look at all the little ice crystals that have formed on the plants in my backyard. That's because the temperature dropped below zero degrees, which is water's freezing point, where liquid water turns into solid ice. There's a phenomenon called supercooling, where a liquid is cooled below its freezing point without turning into a solid. So is it possible to do this with water? To find out, let's do an experiment. I have a bottle of water here and I'm going to put it in the freezer overnight and see if we can cool it below zero degrees without turning it into ice. Liquid water needs two things in order to freeze. First, it needs to be cooled below its freezing point, which for water is zero degrees. The water molecules that are moving past each other can snap into crystal formations, which forms an ice block. But we need to meet a second condition. These crystals can't form spontaneously. They need an original seed crystal on top of which they can build. We call this a nucleation site. I've picked this bottle for two reasons. Firstly, it has a lot of impurities like minerals and dust removed from it, unlike our tap water. These impurities can act as nucleation sites, so we don't want them in our bottle. Secondly, the bottle is rectangular, which means I can put it in the freezer without it moving around a lot. That's also important because if you move the water in the right way, water molecules might line up to form a single crystal, which acts also as a nucleation site, and we don't want that either. So I have here a bottle of water I just pulled out of the freezer, and as you can see, it's still liquid. But what happens if we give it a bang? Will something change? Okay. Three, two, one. Can you see the ice crystals creeping down the bottle? And now, the bottle is completely solid we were able to see the ice block form in front of our eyes. That's because we successfully supercooled the water below its freezing point, but also removed all the nucleation sites so ice crystals didn't start forming. By banging the bottle, some of the water molecules lined up just right to form a first ice crystal. This became a nucleation site, and from this, the ice block was able to grow. You can try this out for yourself at home. Let me know how you go down in the comments and stay tuned for my next video, which is about another amazing liquid that we can super cool. Happy sciencing.